So we're talking about arm strike and arm action. Uh, generally, there's a number of different thoughts on this. Uh, my personal feeling is that when the athlete is strong enough uh, to create a short lever by keeping the arm 90 degrees, so Warren's gonna show us 90 degrees in the front and the back, okay? If you're strong enough to hold this position, then obviously a short lever is faster than a long lever. There are younger athletes, a lot of times female athletes that cannot provide enough power in order to keep this arm strike. Uh, and then they're gonna allow the arm to extend in the back, okay, to create the movement that they need in order to get off the ground. Generally, as soon as the athlete's strong enough though, we're trying to create this short lever. The short lever in the arms aids in the foot contact on the ground being shorter and therefore the airtime being shorter. People talk about the two being separate, but the reality is if my left foot's on the ground, my right foot has to be in the air and vice versa. So ground contact creates airtime. Okay, so we're talking about the arm strike and allowing the hand to drift back into a straight position in order to aid on the foot extending off the ground. The problem I have with this is that now this hand has to go from a straight long lever all the way through here to a short lever. And while it's doing that, this left leg is gonna be in the air that whole time. If this left leg's in the air the whole time, my right leg is sitting on the ground. And the longer it sits on the ground, the slower I run. First of all, I think that patience is the hardest thing, the most difficult thing for sprinters. Just because, you know, it's a short race, the shortest race is the 100 meters, a 60 meter dash indoors. Um, so it's the margin for error. You have basically no margin for error. Um, as you make an error is, you know, you'll probably lose the race. So, but with patience come consistency and repetition. The more you do something, the more comfortable you feel, the more it becomes like second nature. Um, and you go through practices every day, just focusing on the same things and it gets repetitive, but that's what, that's what the body needs to, you know, be able to do actions without having to